हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन सेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड्स प्रॉब्लम नंबर एट Our problem is a hexagonal pyramid site of base site of hexagonal base 25 mm and axis 55 mm long means height of the hexagonal pyramid 55 mm rest with its base on hp rest with its hexagonal base on horizontal plane such that one of the edges of its base is perpendicular to vp okay it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to hp inclined at 45 degree to vp and passing through the pyramid at a distance of 10 mm from the axis in this position do the sectional front view and the two shape of section okay now we solve our problem as per problem hexagonal pyramid rest on hp with its one sides of the base perpendicular to vp okay in this position we draw front view and top view this is xy line reference plane xy above xy line this is vertical plane below xy line this is horizontal plane first we draw a hexagon one side of the hexagon perpendicular to the vp perpendicular to the xy line in this position we draw the hexagon it is marked as a b c d e f sides of the hexagon 25 mm now we find the center we bisect this angle and bisect this angle it is 
intersect at O point, then joint O A, O B, O C, O D, O E and O F. O is the center of the hexagon. O is the vertex of the hexagonal pyramid. This is the top view. This is the top view. Now we draw front view. From A and F corner, we draw vertical projection line up to XY line. It is intersect at F dash and A dash point. Draw vertical projection line from B corner and E corner. It is intersect XY line and it is also project up to this. It is also the axis line. It is B dash and E dash point. Now draw perpendicular projection line from C and D. It up to XY line. At XY line, it is intersect at B dash, D dash, and C dash. Now, this projection line up to this point, we draw a horizontal line, horizontal to XY line, it is intersect at O dash point, this distance is 55, this is the height of the hexagonal pyramid, this is the front view, ok. Now, as per our problem, a section plane perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP 45 degree, distance from center 10 millimeter, we draw a section line, first we draw a 10 millimeter circle, 10 millimeter radius circle, then with 45 degree set square, we draw a line this is tangent to the circle of 10 millimeter radius. So, it distance from center is 10 millimeter. Section plane line just like center line, end portion are thick. Now, this section plane line cut O A at two point. Now, we drop vertical projection line 
this is cut o dash and a dash edge at two point mark this point this cutting plane line cut the base a f at one point we draw vertical projection line it is cut x y line at one dash point this cutting pen line sp cut the o b h at three point now we draw a arc this arc arc radius o t this is the arc from this point we draw a vertical projection line it is cut o dash d dash or o dash c dash h in this point this is the two length next from this point we draw the horizontal projection line it is cut o dash b dash at three dash point we mark this point now this cutting plane line sp cut the base bc base at four point we draw vertical projection line from four it is cut the xy line cut the base at four dash point okay we remove this portion we remove this portion in top view only remaining portion obosisto portion are thick continuous line deep line after removing we see from this side we joint 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 4 dash and 1 dash this is the cutting portion this portion denoted by hatch line or section line section line are 45 degree line gap between line are 2 to 3 mm the visible portion are dark this is the sectional point view okay now we draw two shape of the section two shape of the section means this is section plane line sp this is cutting plane line this portion is removed now perpendicular to this plane perpendicular to this plane sp perpendicular to this plane we see the shape of the cutting portion this shape is called two shape this is perpendicular view perpendicular to sp line okay for this we draw 
vertical projection line, vertical to SP line, vertical to SP line from one, we draw vertical perpendicular line, we draw vertical line from two point, we draw vertical line, projection line, vertical projection line from three point, we draw vertical projection line for four point. Now, we draw a parallel line parallel to SP, XY line, XY line are parallel to SP, cutting pen line. We assume this parallel line similar to XY line. This line denoted by X dash Y dash. Okay. Now, as XY line and X dash Y dash line are same, then from one point projection line meet at one, this is one point, one dash point, here one point. From two point, this is distance of two dash point from x, y line. This distance take with pencil compass, this distance, two dash point distance from x, y line, we cut from two point projection line cut from x y x dash y dash line cut this portion this is two point from three dash point distance of x y line this distance we take with pencil compass and from three point this projection line we take from x dash y dash line we cut this this distance is same as this distance now from four point this is perpendicular projection line meet at four dash point here it is four point, here it is four dash point. It is on the x, y line, x dash, y dash line four point. Here x dash, y dash or x, y four dash point. Now joint one, two, three, four and one. This is the to save, this is mark with hatch line or section line, section line may be 45 degree or 60 degree, distance of section line 2 to 3 millimeter apart, ok. Here all dimension are in millimeter, scale equal to full size, full size means RF equal to 1 is to 1. It is clear my student, thank you.